A big welcome and or welcome back to Frederick's Fitness 2022 programming. This is week three and you're looking at day one of training. To start things off, we're going through the motion of a barbell back squat. You'll notice that the video does get sped up. Time was a crunch this week. School has been a lot to deal with. However, these videos mean a lot for me to get out. So in doing so, let's get started. The weight goes up and you'll see it's a slow progression. However, it felt good. Everything felt smooth, fluid. The hips really opened up. Um, you'll see a couple progressions made this week. I really feel comfortable with the progression of the back squat, the barbell bench press, as well as some of the rowing, more specifically the barbell rowing. Um, throughout the week, um, you'll see a little bit of um, twisting, or I guess you could say reorganizing of programming. However, we'll get into more detail of that when it comes. This week was the week that we got the big snowfall, and uh, in doing so, when shoveling my oh, lower back kinda was sore the next day. That is talking uh, specifically uh, only for that day, I, su I should say. Um, that was on the day where I was hitting legs, but we'll, we'll get more into detail later on in the week. As we finished up this exercise, the, the max load we hit on this day, not a PR, however, not a personal record by any means, but um, 185 on the barbell. We hit it, I hit it, sorry, for a couple repetitions, and it felt very nice and went back down to just 135 just to get a, a little bit more volume in for the, the quadriceps and finished legs up like that. Moved on next to this chest supported row. Um, we were just rowing 35s, 25s, however, moved on to the 40 pound dumbbells. Uh, it's a definite increase in load but feels nice and I'm able to get the repetitions out so I'm gonna keep it like that uh, things are definitely moving quick this week don't have much time to do this video but we squeezed in as well shoulder flies in the video show you that the shoulder volume was building up throughout the the program and the the shoulders are responding well to the volume I'm not feeling any fatigue or discomfort as mentioned in the previous video before the new year, I did get some lower dumbbells, so the, the weight feels a lot more comfortable going through range of motion, and as well getting all the volume that's necessary for development of the, the shoulders. <coughs> Next, day two, which you're looking at right now, I uh, started off with the, the bench pressing, and realized that a little bit of rowing would be beneficial for the, the movement pattern that was we were going through on the bench press. So I started with a couple warm-up sets of the bench, got a banded row going, just a couple repetitions through full range of motion, get the blood flowing, and uh, really start to emphasize the pattern. And as well, the, I guess we could say the, the postural shape that the, the body's in need of when on the bench, performing this bench press. It feels great after a warm-up, so if you haven't tried it, I'd recommend trying it. And you'll see finished off the repetitions with uh, just a 45 there. Um, again, hit a top set, potentiated, went back down, got some volume in. Things feel best generally when I'm doing it that way. Um, it's great to say that I did hit calves. <laughs> uh, generally hitting calves every week, but not showing very often. Uh, did show the calf work here, and it's just a, a basic calf extension, a standing calf extension with a, a belt and a 25 pound weight hanging from it. On to uh, the next exercise on day two. It's just a standing upright row with um, a dumbbell. The exercise feels great for me, and I do have a little bit of flexion in my hip. Nothing that I should really even note, but just to the degree where it's taking pressure off of a stacked spine. Dumbbell curls finished off that day, and the camera died, so I didn't get much filming done. Regardless, uh, school's been intense, so I've kind of just been trying to focus on that and doing a little bit of recording when I get the time to exercise. <clears throat> here we've got the day after the snowstorm uh, I was feeling really stiff this day and the, the tire was chosen to just I guess try to make sure that I can get full range and benefit from not having a lot of slack clothing pulling on my my peripheral or my my limbs you'll see here going through slow not full as you've seen in prior videos range of motion but um, just trying to get 
some restore some motion. I was feeling very stiff and locked up after, um, which felt like a tweak. Uh, regardless, that's in the past because it, I did work it out and uh, I didn't use any load this day, aka didn't put any weight on the bar. Just went through the volume, increased the volume a little bit in terms of repetitions and sets that were performed. Um, I think a lot could benefit, a lot of people could benefit from uh, this kind of exercising, especially when experiencing back pain already. Um, this wouldn't be an exercise that I'd, I'd throw in for most that are experiencing back pain. However, like I mentioned, as things started to warm up um, throughout the exercise programming that day, uh, I started to feel a little more uh, mobile, less, less tension, less uh, pain tolerance, I guess you could say. Uh, when we're going through these rows here, I'm being very drastic with the, the range of motion. However, I didn't use, like I said, an additional load this day, just the, the bar and I was trying to really emphasize the range of motion just as a restorative approach to um, trying to get back that, that lost range of motion. I'll, I'll stop on the, the recovery aspect of it because the workout finishes off just as it, it normally does with the, the shoulder press. You'll see here, um, as you'll notice again, most of the video is sped up this week just for time purposes. I didn't much have the time to go through all this stuff, however, um, the exercise programming stayed the same. Uh, it was great. The week felt great, and the, the volume um, was definitely higher than last because of this recovery day. However, uh, in response, I believe that maybe that could be what helped out with the the exercises, the compound exercises like the squat, bench, and the the rowing, the barbell rowing, um, increased so drastically, or actually. I should say relatively increased so dr drastically. Uh, I'm not seeing an increase necessarily in volume or weight, just uh, residual performance. I, I'm, I'm feeling better when doing these lifts and I'm not feeling as fatigued or drained afterwards. And that makes for the, the next day's training or the volume for the next exercise a lot easier to uh, perform. And you can put a lot more exercise, uh, sorry, you can put a lot more energy and focus into that exercise when you're not suffering as much from overloading fatigue. <clears throat> Off of that topic, you'll see here we're finishing up day three, just with a little bit of stretching, did some shoulder work, some rear delt face pulls. Uh, that's an exercise I actually just added for additional um, additional shoulder volume. And it is, it's an exercise that's always done me well in terms of um, postural performance as well as just aggregating more um, shoulder uh, volume throughout the week. That's specifically why I chose to perform it. And on that day, I didn't want to be doing anything like a, a bent over shoulder fly because like I said, the, the back was already inflamed. Day four, last day in the exercise programming, started off with the bench press, just as always, two days a week bench pressing. And uh, I didn't show any of the warm up clips here. I went straight from demonstrating a 25s on each side to the potentiating set, as you see here. Uh, after that, the camera died. I don't think I got much more footage out of it, but um, I did end up charging it for a little bit. I, I dropped the weight, and as I dropped the weight, I did a little bit of volume work. I charged the camera and went back to filming afterwards. Got the last clip of the video, and it finished off with the incline press, just from the the barbell, or sorry, yeah, the barbell hooked up to the rig like, I, like I've been doing over the past week or two. And finished off the exercise programming with um, a differentiated skull crusher. All right, well, if you've made it this far in the video, I gotta thank you massively for your support. I'll catch you next week. And as always, eat your food, invest your time, and take care, fellow gainers.